Hello everyone and welcome to the cold start video for the Jaguar E-Type Roadster Series 2. Um, it is a very hot day today, uh, it's around the mid to late 20s, car has been sitting for quite a few hours without being started, um, so it's as cold as we're going to get it today. Uh, I've got a little thermometer gauge here and if I press it on the body you can see it's reading 64. If I just put it on the manifold, which has been under the cover for a while, that is reading 50. And the top of the engine there, 45. And down, right down the bottom, 39. So super hot day. Can't really do too much about that. Um, but I will go through the starting procedure. So let me go in the car. And uh, just giving it a little bit of choke. Ignition, hear the fuel pump, and started straight away with no uh, acceleration. And you can see the oil pressure gauge rising nicely. On tick over, it's just stopped at about 30. Of course, if I give it a blip, it will go more. But I won't do that just for a second. I'll just reduce the choke a little bit. And that's running a bit freer. And since we've been out, the oil pressure's risen. I'll increase the revs, and the oil pressure's going up nicely. On charge, water temperature low. I'll take it out on a on the road video next, so we can see where the oil pressure settles and where the temperature gauge settles as well. As I say, it's a super hot day today. Okay, thank you.
Hi everybody, welcome back to the on the road video of the Series 2 uh, Jaguar E-Type Roadster. So I'm just around the local area and uh, driving the car on behalf of Paul, the owner. Uh, I know these cars quite well. I have an E-Type Series 2 my, uh, my own and um, it's very easy to know a good one from a not so good one. Although this is my first time driving a Roadster, normally they're coupés. So as you saw in the cold start video, uh, it uh, fired into life straight away. Uh, I've removed the choke and uh, it's a very hot day. So it's in the mid twenties and the car is performing really well. So I'll just talk you through a few of the things. Uh, first of all, the gearbox and clutch and uh, the clutch feels very very good so there's a good long travel lots more than there is on mine uh, right to the floor bites halfway up and it feels very reassuring that there's nothing wrong with the clutch gears i've been through all the four gears first second third fourth and reverse even in reverse there was no um, uh, there was no issue with getting it in reverse. There is in mine. I have to put my foot flat to the floor, wait a few days and then engage reverse. But that's certainly not the case with this car. Um, so clutch gearbox feels well. I'm in fourth doing 3000 revs, 40 miles an hour, reading just over 40 on the oil pressure and uh, it's charging and the temperature gauge is now starting to go up. So all the good stuff that you want on an E-Type and obviously you keep checking all the time to make sure everything is running okay, which it certainly is. So I'm just on a B road now, going up to 50 miles an hour. I'm in fourth, little left-hand bend. I can feel the car turning in, steering feels good good bit of acceleration in fourth I'm doing 55 50 and the car feels very stable indeed uh, running very nicely engine sounds great going on the left and I just tuck it in a little bit oil pressure doing well still charging dropping down a bit because obviously it's charged uh, but certainly feels great. Suspension wise, I am on a very, um, a very smooth road, but it feels good. Certainly from, uh, you know, from um, a tightness perspective, left and right feels great. And I can't really hear any knocks changing down into third, changing down into second. Brakes feel really good. Uh, brakes feel great ticking over straight away, haven't had to blip the throttle. Oil pressure reading 35, just under 40. And so far so good. Nice experience, driving really well. Uh, just at a red set of traffic lights. Temperatures uh, not yet reached the normal. Remember I said it's about 25 degrees today uh, in the shade. This car's been in the sun for a fair bit and just waiting for the red lights to change and then I'll do a trip on the way back and a bit of an acceleration. There's a roundabout straight ahead and I'll just go around that. But the brakes, everything so far feels really good. Just press the fans, the fans are working. Radio works. I press the horn, that doesn't seem to work. That might need a little bit of attention. These traffic lights are taking a long time. <laughs> Come on, we want to get off. But what a lovely experience this car feels. I understand now why people do prefer the roads. There's always, they certainly fetch more money. Um, I've spent two hours with the car now. I've photographed it, I videoed it, I've been all around it. The paint is good, it's not going to win any awards, but it's certainly really good and it could be made probably even a little bit better. So I don't think there's any paint rectification to do unless you wanted to make this car concourse. 
but for me it feels like it's a good driver's car Paul has priced it accordingly and the color looks great and of course it's going to be a lot lower because it's not a matching numbers car but it does have the um, the correct period correct e-type engine that has the correct um, uh, the correct compression so uh, and it certainly sounds nice it starts well and it goes well I've just released the clutch as well just to hear can't hear any thrust bearing or anything like that feels quite good on mine there is quite a thrust bearing noise generally there is um, apologies about this traffic light we might cut, cut this out <laughs> But yes, so uh, it's an original UK car and uh, spent some time in Germany, came back to the UK. So the value is in it being an original UK right-hand drive car. Um, of course, doesn't have that matching numbers engine, but it does have the period correct one. Um, and uh, it's certainly a very nice car to drive. It's getting a lot of looks as we're just in this traffic here as you do when you're out in an E-Type, it feels like the world is looking at you. <laughs> oh, and here's a little 924. Give him a wave. Um, so not a lot else to say. Obviously, we're sitting in traffic in super hot day, 30 on oil pressure, temperature is, uh, needle is reading just below normal, and we're off. Engine sounds good. I'll accelerate, and we're gonna go around this roundabout. really does feel good. The um, wider tires really make a difference. On mine, I've got sort of skinny originals. This really feels a planted ride. So I'll do a bit of an acceleration. Felt good, no smoke coming from behind. Bonnet is rising nicely, staying in a straight line. 40 on the oil pressure. And it's very straight. It is not dancing all over the place. It feels very planted. You could do 60 or 70 in it. It feels all day long. I'll take it on a good GT trip. It's a lovely experience. I can't hear any any noises that you'd want to investigate further. It turns in really lovely into the bends. I think for me, and I have only spent a couple of hours with the car, but I would probably just drive it straight away to Scotland or the south of France. I think it does give me confidence that the car mechanically is pretty well sorted especially things like the clutch, the gearbox, the brakes. Um, the water temperature is just amazing. The oil pressure is really good. We know it's charging, so the alternator's working. We've got half a tank full of petrol. We could go anywhere in this car, it feels like. I don't necessarily have that same feeling with my own E-Type, unfortunately. So that's it really, there's nothing else to say. It's a beautiful E-Type, it's well priced and uh, Paul will sell it. So it will sell on auction. Uh, so there will, won't be any post-sale um, negotiation on this car. It is gonna sell at auction. Get your bids in early, uh, give us a call, speak to me about it if you've got any questions. Uh, but everything's laid out on the website. If you need to ask Paul any questions about the car, pop them in the comments. Uh, he gets notified straight away and he will respond straight away. Great car, really proud to have it going through our service. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing it go through. All right, good luck everybody, cheers.